Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everyone who has joined us. Thank you very much for joining us. We appreciate every one of you. Thank you. And uh, we don't take you for granted for joining us in this platform of faith. Uh, of. So we are here uh, gathered in Beaumont Emmanuel Global Ministry. Uh, daily prayer. Uh, we serve to all people, to all people all over the world. And we come together in one accord, trusting and believing in Jesus and knowing that God is with us and is always there for us. So let's uh, begin this with a word of prayer uh, before I, in, I introduce the other uh, other members or other members who are responsible to do what God has called them to do. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we come before you, we thank you for what you're doing in our lives. So dear Father, we ask you to please forgive us all our sins which we have done knowingly and knowingly. Please Father, we ask you, Father, cleanse us because Father, we know we are we are just human beings who are prone to sinning, who are prone to sinning with our mind, with our thoughts, with our mouth, with our eyes. Father, we ask you to forgive us. Cleanse us, oh dear Father. Make us one with you, oh dear Father, because only you, Jesus, can do this, oh dear Father. Father, we thank you, Jesus, because you are always ever present ever present to to hear our prayer ever presence oh dear father oh father please forgive us forgive us and cleanse us oh dear father cleanse us oh dear Lord jesus christ because only you jesus can cleanse us oh dear Lord jesus christ have mercy on us oh dear father thank you jesus thank you father father we come before you right now dear father believing and trusting oh dear father that you are with us oh dear father oh dear father in this platform of faith trusting in you oh dear father because you're the one who has gathered us gathered us oh dear father to all corners of the world oh dear father with the ministries that ministers who have uh, who have joined us oh dear father to feed the frog oh dear father my god is not by their strength it's not by their power but your mighty power oh dear father that oh dear father they are going to to speak your word oh dear father they are going to preach your word oh dear father they are going to edify others oh dear father they are going to to encourage others oh dear father my god oh dear father have mercy on us oh dear father and help us because only you jesus can do this help us and let all the ministers who are gear join to you oh dear father join with you to speak the word of truth through the spirit of god through the power of god almighty god through your mighty your mighty power through you jesus father help them oh dear father to speak the truth help them to speak what you have for your children let them speak with boldness oh dear father because it's you god who called them no human being called them it is you who called them it's you who appointed them it's you father who uh, give them the power to go and 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 do what the they themselves cannot do but through you jesus they will do mighty great things thank you father for calling each and every one of us thank you father for even uh the words that they speak it is not from them but it is from you jesus thank you father for allowing oh father allowing them to come and feed the frog oh dear father my god oh dear father even th those who have come in to join us oh dear father even the ones who are supposed to join us oh dear father and their network is unstable or something father is happening the devil is is planning for them not to show up but father you are more bigger and greater than the devil 
So, Father, my God, help them to connect, Father. Help them connect and to stay connected, oh dear Father, in this platform of faith. And let them receive more than what they came to get, oh dear Father. Let them receive more than what they came to for oh dear father for their plan was maybe to get their healing deliverance miracles and wonders father let them receive more divine healing more divine deliverance more divine miracles and wonders in their life father i thank you jesus because father you are ever true father we thank you we magnify your name for Father, even the way you have brought us all together in one accord, it is by your strength, it is by your power. So we thank you, Jesus, for everything and for all that you are doing through this ministry. In Jesus' name we pray and believe. Amen, amen, amen. Our Father who art in heaven, holy be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on others in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. And forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thy the kingdom, the power, the glory are all yours, now and forevermore. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now, now and forevermore. Amen. Now I introduce the moderator of today, that is Pastor Peter, to introduce all the other that are there. Uh, so, Pastor Peter, please. Yeah, good morning, good afternoon, good evening from whichever uh, part of the world you, you are from. Uh, my name is Peter Degua from here in uh, Portland, Oregon. I uh, worship with the Believers Ministries International and is located uh, in a place called the Table Space that is uh, uh, 5441. Uh, Belmont Street, uh, Portland, Oregon, and uh, we worship on uh, on uh, Sunday, starting at uh, just starting at one thirty p.m. up to five p.m. in the evening. Uh, so if you happen to be around, you can always come and, and worship together. If you happen to be in the adjoining cities around here, cities like uh, like Gresham, Beaverton, um, Clackamas, uh, uh, Happy Valley. Uh, or any other Milwaukee, uh, and, and even the even further up a little bit, you can always travel here and watch it together, and you will be gonna be blessed. Now, uh, today I'm doing moderate, more moderating in this uh, because we are many ministers. Me, as as, uh, the, as the prophet said, we are many ministers from different ministries. Uh, today I'm I'm moderating for uh, Beaumont Emmanuel Global Ministries. Um, and uh, we also have uh, other ministers. We will, we will start by listening to the word of God and that will be brought to us by Matteo, followed by the, uh, the, the teaching about the baptism of the Holy Ghost and how you, you must And we will go to the Lord's table and it will be led by none other than, than Apostle Salim from Mombasa, Kenya. And uh, to start the ball rolling, let's call on Minister Matteo to feed the flock of God. Welcome. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are around the globe. First of all, I want to say to all the people that joined us, we really appreciate it. We do not take it for granted. Also, thank you for this opportunity. I uh, really appreciate it. I do not take it for granted. It's an honor and privilege to preach on this platform. It is all for the glory of God. I like to, where we left off yesterday uh, in Ephesians chapter 1, verses 17 and 18, and want to finish the chapter. But first of all, because these two verses are very important for us to remember in everything remembering like who we are in christ jesus everything that we might feel depression anxiety anger uh negative basically negative thoughts always remember ephesians 1 17 and 18 and even just the whole chapter 
of Ephesians 1. I pray that the Father of glory, the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, will impart to you the riches of the spirit of wisdom and the spirit of revelation, to know him through your deepening intimacy with him. I pray that the light of God will illuminate your eyes, the eyes of your imagination, flooding you with light until you experience the full revelation of the hope of his calling. That is the wealth of God's glorious inheritances that he finds in us, his holy ones. I pray that you will continually experience the immeasurable greatness of God's power made available to you in faith. Your lives will be an advertisement of this immense power as it works through you. This is the mighty power that was released when God raised Christ from the dead and exalted him to the place of highest honor, supreme authority in the heavenly realm. And now he is exalted as first above every ruler, authority, government, and realm of power in existence. He is gloriously enthroned over every name that is ever praised, not only in this age, but in the age that is coming. And he alone is the leader and source of everything needed in the church. God has put everything beneath the authority of Jesus Christ, has given him the highest rank above all others. And now we, his church, are his body on the earth, and that which fills him was being filled by it. That right there is, besides us, gives us an idea of basically who is in charge and that we are the body of Christ. I believe it's in Romans where it says, uh, God is no respecter of persons. And Jesus is a supreme authority. And he was very uh, submissive to a father, our father, God. And he is, he knows everything, very powerful, etc. All those wonderful things about God and Jesus. To all the people that joined us, I have wondered, hmm, I'm very interested. I don't know about this father you're talking about. That father is God. He is our true heavenly father. He takes care of us. He knows everything about us. He knows every detail. He takes care of every detail of our lives, whether we realize it or not. In Jesus and the Holy Spirit, God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit are our true friends. It's all the people that want to accept Jesus Christ is their personal Lord and Savior. First of all, come as you are. You don't have to try to clean yourself up just to come to him. Just come to him as you are. God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit are standing there with arms wide open, ready to receive you when you believe by faith. Let's pray. Father, I know I can't save myself, and I know you promised to save those who repent and put their faith in Jesus alone. I trust you to forgive my sins so that I may receive eternal life. Thank you for sending your son to die in my place and make my salvation possible. In the name of Jesus, amen. Pastor Peter, please. Thank you so much for that, uh, uh, for feeding the flock of God. And now we're going to listen to the teachings about the baptism of the Holy Ghost. And we will be led by Minister uh, uh, Asa. Welcome. Welcome, everyone. And I was going to go over a few verses about the Holy Spirit. And uh, some of it, Mateo already went over. <laughs> but Paul tried to express to us the power that is in us when he was teaching to these te to these churches like philippians and ephesians because uh he wanted them to know the truth he wanted them to see 
power that knows every one of us. He called it the power that raised Christ from the dead. And why did he want to know this? It's because just like the scripture says, the kingdom of God is, is not a word only, but of power. <laughs> it also says uh, not to be one who is always learning, but denying the power of the kingdom of God. And it's very, there's a lot of people who are always learning, you know, the scriptures, but also deny the power of God. And that's not where we want to be because the kingdom of God is the power. Paul was was praying for this, for these churches that he planted. You know, the Holy Spirit worked through him. He planted churches all over, all over his known world of his day. He went around and planted churches and then he wrote back to them and he watched them. He preached to them. And sometimes he rebuked them. Sometimes he just <coughs> gave them encouragement. But in Philippians 3, 8 through 11, it says, power, it says, let indeed, I also count all things lost for the excellence of the knowledge of Christ Jesus, my Lord, for whom I have suffered the loss of many things and count them as rubbish <clears throat> that I may gain Christ and be found in him, not having my own righteousness, which is of the law, but that which is through faith in Christ. The righteousness which is from God by faith, that I may know him and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his sufferings, being conformed to his death. But if by any means I may obtain the resurrection from the dead. <clears throat> Paul saying that he wanted to be just like Christ and in his fellowship in Christ, he wanted to know even the sufferings of Christ that he might attain a better resurrection when Jesus comes back. And he wanted to know the power of his resurrection. And he wanted other people to know that power that raised Christ Jesus from the dead, that indwelled every single believer who was baptized in the Holy Spirit. Because as I mentioned before, Jesus said, it is good for me to go away, he told his disciples, because when I leave, the comforter will come upon you. And that is Christ in us. That is no longer Jesus walking in the flesh, teaching and doing miracles, wonders and signs to himself. But that was him coming back to indwell every single believer who will accept him and who will be baptized in the water and the spirit. He will indwell them. <clears throat> and Paul stresses that there is a power in us, power of his resurrection that indwells every one of us. And we are to live and to walk in that power. And to trust in Christ and to know that it is in us. That is power to heal. That is power to quicken our mortal bodies to do things that we cannot do. That is power to quicken our minds and give us wisdom and understanding and knowledge. That is power. At one point, Paul says, I mean, Jesus says that do not even worry about when you're persecuted and you're taken before authorities. Do not even worry about what you will have to say. Don't plan it ahead of time, because if you are actually taken into authority, <clears throat> persecuted for being a Christian for his sake, persecuted for the name of Jesus Christ, he tells you, he's promising you that the Holy Spirit is going to come on you in such a powerful way that you're going to have words to speak and you're going to preach a sermon like Peter. You're going to preach a sermon that, that comes out of your mouth to authorities that is wise and full of understanding and full of the truth. And it's not going to be you speaking. It's going to be the Holy Spirit speaking. That's some of the power of the resurrection Paul was trying to stress to these churches to realize that they were walking in it <clears throat> and to let it live in them and through them. This gift of the Holy Ghost is, is something that's, like I say, mystical and something that's hard to understand. It's not tangible. It's a gift from God, but it brings the power and the knowledge and the word of God into us in a supernatural way. And it's powerful. And lives in and us and through us. And in Ephesians 3, 14 through 21, I'll read that. Paul says much of the same thing he said to the, to the Philippians in Philippians 3, 8 through 11. But this is Ephesians. So these are two different churches he's speaking to. For this reason, I bow my knees to the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, from who the whole family in heaven and earth is named, that he would grant you, according to the riches of his glory, to be strengthened with might, through his spirit in the inner man, 
that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith, that you being rooted and grounded in love may be able to comprehend with all the saints what is the width and the length and the depth and the height, to know the love of Christ which passes knowledge, that you may be filled with all the fullness of God. Why? Because Jesus was filled with all the fullness of God. That is scripture. <clears throat> That is me talking right there, but that is scripture. Jesus came and he was filled with the fullness of God. So when Paul says that he wants us to understand this height, this depth, this width of Christ in us, this love of Christ, this peace, this love that passes knowledge, he wants us to be filled with the fullness of God. Because what happened to Jesus when he walked the earth is supposed to happen in us and every believer. That takes on this Holy Spirit when he dwells you and dwells you now of him this is Paul speaking now to him who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or we think according to the power that is at work in us to him be glory in the church by Christ Jesus to all generations forever amen now read that last part one more time now to him Jesus who is able to do exceedingly abundantly all above all that we ask or think according to the power that works in us to him be the glory in church by christ jesus to all generations forever and ever amen <clears throat> there's a lot of in us and in you talk what i'm reading from is the new king james version <clears throat> but these messages of the scripture is simple and that's what i try and stress every morning that Jesus, Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus the Messiah, died for us. And when he sent back the Holy Spirit, he had paid for our sins, and he wants to indwell us. Just as he walked the earth, he wants to be in us, and he wants us to be just like him, with the fullness of God in us, living in us and through us, with the power of the Holy Spirit, the power that raised Christ from the dead is indwelling each and every one of you. That is the message this morning, that it is no joke. It isn't just given to some, but this is why Peter, I mean, Paul was saying, I pray and I pray, I pray that you will understand the power that is in you because people didn't understand it and they still don't today. <clears throat> it's very hard to understand it, but there is power in us, every one of us. For he even says Christ will work in that power and to him be glory in the church by Christ Jesus to all generations forever and ever. Amen. And that's what I have. And I thank you. And I give it back over to Pastor Peter. Well, thank you so much uh, for that teaching about the baptism of the Holy Ghost. And the, the session that's following right now is the Lord's Table. And I, I believe that uh, I remember to carry at least some little bread, some little cookie, a biscuit and some juice uh if you don't juice of any kind if you don't have juice you can have even uh, some little water and then you can uh, celebrate the lord so and to lead us in this area is none other than apostle Alin from Mombasa, Kenya. welcome and uh, thank you um thank you so much my brother um apostle Salim from mombasa i come from a uh, Kisauni sub county in Mombasa uh, county, and uh, our church is called JPA, that is Jubilee Pentecostal Assembly, Assemblies Church. We normally meet on Sunday at uh, 10 up to 10 30, that is teachings, and then 10 30 up to 12 30, that is the main service. You are very much welcome. Um, I just want us to pray before we start our service, our, uh, as I share the Lord's table. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you this morning. We thank you that you have been good to us. We thank you this afternoon. We thank you this evening. We thank you, Lord, because of your goodness. Even, Lord, as we take the Lord's table, I want to thank you for, for, the, uh, for your servant who has shared the word of God. Thank you, Lord, even for the sharing of the Holy Spirit, and even, Lord, as we share the Lord's table. I pray the Lord shall direct me, guide me, 
so that whatever I shall do, Lord, is going to give you all the glory. We thank you, we, we love you, and we honor you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now we're going to take our reading from the book of Isaiah chapter 1, verse 19 and up to 20. Isaiah chapter 1, 19 uh, through 20. Isaiah chapter 1 says, it says, 19 up to 18, up to 20 says, If you are willing and obedient, you shall eat the good of the land. But if you refuse and rebel, you shall be devoured by the sword, for the mouth of the Lord has spoken. Now the Bible says in the book of Isaiah, chapter 1, verse 8, 19, that uh, if you are obedient, if you are willing and obedient, you will eat the good of the land. But if you, you disobey, the Bible says that uh, the sword has been laid for those who are not ready to obey the Lord. If you rebel, you shall be devoured by the sword. The Bible is, is telling us that uh, for those who obey, they enjoy. But those who disobey, they suffer the consequences of disobedience. The Bible tells us that obedience is better than sacrifice. Now, as we are taking the Lord's table, we are only obeying the Lord's command. This is God's command that we are supposed to take the Lord's table openly. And this is for our own benefit. Because as we take our, the Lord's table, the Bible promises us eternal life. Jesus says, I am the bread of life. And whoever eats my, my bread, my body, and drinks my blood will never die, but will live forever. So we, we are taking the Lord's table just for our, our own sake. It will it benefit us. And the Bible tells us in in. 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 23, that uh, as Jesus was taking, I mean, after taking the, the Lord's Supper, then he took, he took bread, broke it, and gave it to his disciples and told them to share and say, this is my body that was given for you. Take it and eat. And at the same time, he took the cup and drank and gave it to his disciples and told him to take it. And uh, he's told, he told them that they should be doing it awful, awfully in remembrance of his suffering and his death. So that is what we are doing now. We are doing because we are obeying the Lord we are going to take the Lord's table, so I believe you are you are prepared a cup of a cup, and you have prepared uh, some snack or some bread. Now, before we take the Lord's table, the the condition is that we are supposed to examine ourselves, see if there is anything ungodly, ask God to forgive us, and then we take it. So I'm giving you two minutes, brethren. Uh, let us. Go before the Lord, ask God to sanctify us, and then later we shall pray for, we shall give thanks to God and take the Lord's table. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you because of your grace. We thank you because of your love. You gave your life for us. You suffered, you died because of our, of our, of our, of our sins. I ask the Lord to forgive us, forgive my sins, sanctify me. Lord, through my eyes I've sinned before you, through my mind I've sinned before you, through my, 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 my ears, Lord, I have heard some things which are not godly. I ask you, dear Father, may you forgive me, sanctify me, Lord. Wash me. Your word says that even if my sins are as red as crimson, you are going to, to clear them. You are going to make them as white as snow. Thank you, Lord. I bless you. I thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Now, I hope you are ready with the bread. 
and I have with me my bread here. I just uh, ask you to close your eyes, we give thanks, and then we take it. Father, I thank you for this bread. Thank you for this cup. I bless it as we take it in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You can now take it. Take it prayerfully. You can now take the cup. Mine is here. Can now pray. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for, for the, your flesh and your blood. I pray the Lord, let your blood sanctify me. Let your blood heal me. Let the blood bring about life in my body, in my spirit. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you so much. Pastor Peter. Uh, thank you so much. Um, <clears throat> Uh, for leading us in the Lord's the Lord's table, and now we come to the, another session of the testimonies where we brag about the Lord Jesus Christ's goodness. <coughs> and uh, I don't know who's gonna who's ready uh, to start us off. Whoever is ready can uh, just come right on. I, I like the the way the way uh, Apostle brought up the the, the idea of. Um, <clears throat> obedience because I was one of those one of those persons who are not very not very obedient I would say let, let me let me give let me give one I'll, I'll be I'll be fast enough um last year I was told the the, the, the prophet this prophet um our prophet right here Pauline was told to tell me that the kind of food I eat I should stop eating that and I should eat a different kind of food and you know what I was doing since I live far from, from because the family is in East Coast and I'm in West Coast, so I would prepare some some food in in a slightly huge amount because I, I'm not able to be cooking every day. I'm not gonna do that. It's tedious and it's tough. Uh, I'm not gonna do that. So I, I would prepare good food, put uh, some meat in it, vegetables, whatever, uh, uh, some. Uh, even the soy, soybeans and, and corn. And, I mean, it would be a good mixture, really rich. And then I, I, would, I would pack it in the, in the fridge so that every day, at least I, I, I get a little, a, a small bowl, I, that would be enough for the day. Because <clears throat> there's some other day to, of course, do the, the fasting. Um, and it, things were running fine. And then the Lord told her to tell me to stop eating that kind of food. And you know, it's, it's a test from the Lord. And he'll be, even you, he'll, he'll be giving you those, those kind of tests. Little, little ones like those ones. If you pass those ones, he'll give you a tougher one. On and on and on. He does that a lot. If you are his child. If you're not his child, he's not going to test you. It's no business until you become his. Now, so... It was tough for me, and I had prepared it. I put even pilau in it. Ah, the sweet aroma even passers by would would want to come in and eat uh, and have a bite. <laughs> All right. so, but but now I was told to not to eat it. That was tough. So one day, as I was going to another another facility to go work there. I just took a bowl and, and then I went and put, put, put it in a, in a fridge there. When it came to lunch hour. I took it out, put it in the fridge, in the in the microwave, and then and then it it heat it heated a, a little bit. I put it on the table. Putting on the table, the phone call comes from the poor prophet. She asked, "What are you eating?" Oh my! And you know the Lord shows her even in a vision. There is no way you can't lie. You can't. I mean, you're just caught right there. I thought, well, I'm having my lunch. What kind of lunch? I thought, well, just the usual food that I normally eat. What kind of food? 
oh my, my, there was no way to hide. I told her, and they told me, what did the Lord tell you? My, it was tough to answer. Well, I told her, I'll try, <laughs> I'll try. Another thing, another time after some time, oh my, I didn't know, do I throw away, do I throw away all this good food? Okay, another time I, I think I ate up. <laughs> and, and then it has all happened one morning. One morning I was shaking. I was like tremors all over. And I'm not one person who gets sick uh, all the time. I, I, I don't normally get, get sick like that. But this time I was sickly. I was trembling. I, was, I felt so sickly the whole body. I wondered whether I would go to work or not. So I gave a call. Because I didn't even know what kind of medicine I would take for that kind of those kind of symptoms. Um, I gave her a call and she told me, What did I tell you? You see, once he gives you he gives you a, um, a directive, then you are supposed to obey. See, these are the consequences of, of disobedience, these are the ramifications. Right? So now until I made a, a think a decision. I'm going, I'm going to obey now. I'm going to obey fully. And I took all that food and, and put it in a, in a little bag and put it in a dump stand and dumped it and dumped it there. Nice, without it. See? And then, oh, there's something else I also, I also, uh, yeah. After that tremors, then uh, some diseases, I, I, I felt like some diseases were coming up. So after I threw the, up the food, uh, then we prayed, we prayed with her, promised our Lord faithfully, and then things started improving. Things started getting better, started getting better messages, uh, better, everything started running fine. See now? So when uh, the apostle mentioned about obedience, I just remembered that. He, he likes obedience and not half, not half obedience. Because that's what we normally do. A little partially obey here and there, but you are not fully obeying. It's when we obey fully with the letter. That's now when he can start operating in our lives. That's when he can start releasing his, his, his giftings. He can start releasing package after package after package. All right? That's, that, that's my testimony for today. And I give God all that. Because I know he's listening close. And I know... And I know it's true. So that, that's my testimony for today. I give God all the glory, all the honor, and I hope it has built somebody. If you're one like me who was like me, really dis uh, I mean disobedient, uh, you better start changing now uh, because it won't, it won't work, it won't operate in your life if you don't fully obey His word. Amen. Do we have another testimony? Yes, we have Ruth from Android, Kenya, and then we'll be followed by, by Masi from UK. Okay, okay, Ruth. Thank you, Pastor Peter. Praise God. Um, my name is Ruth from Android, Kenya. Uh, my testimony is also about obedience. <laughs> what a lovely coincidence. Uh, today, I first want to thank God for safety when I was out on the road, I went out cycling and um, <clears throat> for giving a very good you know the climate was so good it was sunny despite it had rained all night so it wasn't so muddy you know out there so yesterday as uh, Pro prophet uh, pauline was was speaking to us about reaching out to people you know uh, whether it's praying for them or directing them to where you know they can receive the word you know um the Spirit of God put it in my heart that uh, there's a junction I always pass by and that there's a group of uh, border borders who park there to wait for uh, passengers. So it's a group of men. The border borders are like this transport, bicycle, trans mini motorbike uh, transporters. So <laughs> I was a bit freaked out because I was like, how do I approach such a big group of men and tell them that I want to pray for them? First of all, who am I? They've never seen me. So uh, in the morning I went and as I was approaching them, my heart was really racing because I was like, how do I start? 
and I noticed three of them had sat a bit of a distance. They are sitting on a on a sort of like a hill uh, away from their motorbikes, and then the two of the two of the others were seated on their motorbikes. So I said, I, you know, I'm just having a quiet conversation with God. I said, let me just go and pray for these ones, and then I just go. And God said, no, 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 you have to bring those ones. It's all the guys who are meant to be there. So I said, God, okay, you bring them, because how do I start calling these men and tell them, you come here for prayer? And as I was approaching them, I greeted them, I parked my bicycle, I greeted them, and then I started asking, I broke the ice, the conversation by asking a new route that I've never ventured. So I was asking, which, where does this route head to? How far is it? And then those ones who are seated on the grass stood up and came to where I was and they started telling me there was a group that went cycling I think they are the Kenya riders so are you part of that group so I told them no I'm just for me it's just for fitness and then I asked them can I would you mind if I pray for you and they said no just go ahead so I prayed and then I I left I continued with I proceeded with the route they had told me so I thank God for the obedience because I was wondering what do I pray how do I call this? But God gave me the words. God blew those ones who are away to where they were, the other group was. And like you say, obedience is very important. Thank you. That was a nice, nice one. So you prayed for them and then you just left them. Do their yes, thing. Yes, I just, because my instruction was, go i need you to go and pray over these people so i just prayed for them prayed over their families and i left i just told them thank you for the direction on that route and i left for me for me i do go a little a little a little further than that but i'm not saying that you did something bad you did very well but for me i do i do tell them that we have a grouping and there is a prophet of the lord in there and uh, I give them one of the testimonies how I was sick, how I was having diabetes uh, for some over ten years, and and how the uh, she prayed for me, and the Lord healed me instantly. And then they, you see now they, and He can also do for you not just for disease. Probably you may not have disease, but you may have some problem. You may have some other uh, a financial predicament. You may uh, you may be having some other condition. So that's something. And she will commit it to the Lord Jesus Christ. And hopefully, if, if you believe, then it will be wiped out, like the way he wiped it, that disease for me. And somehow, as you as you say, somebody remembers, because almost everyone, the Lord makes sure there is something you are wrestling with. And you have absolutely no way of getting over it. You've tried all you can. Some of them have even tried witchcraft. I've tried anything, anything they can, uh, and it's still not working. And so they, they kind of attracted with that. Give them a few more testimonies from other people and uh, that you know. And somebody says, and where can I get get in touch with that kind of person? I give them the link. You have the link in your in your phone. Uh, they click there. And when they click, they say, wow, I'm already in. <laughs> I'm already in. And then you tell them, give them the time. And when it comes to this time, you just just get in, just have a taste of it. If you like it, you can be listening. It's every day. It's every day. It happens. And just for some reason, you find somebody, one of them, it may not be everybody that you tell, but once, once in a while, you find the person getting in and getting the, getting the blessed more and more and more. That's just me. I didn't say that you did anything wrong. You did it right. Right? So that, that was good. That was very nice. You never know, you may be tomorrow's evangelist. Yeah. And you'll be evangelist Ruth from Eldoret, Kenya. <laughs> you see, it can happen. Some of these things we say, we turn, God turns them into prophecies. All right. Okay. Let's have uh, Masi. Where did Masi disappear to? Masi, are you, are you there from UK? <laughs> yeah, I'm here. How, how, is the, how is the UK now? It's good. It's good. It's okay. Good. It's warm. Okay. Tell us about the goodness of God. Uh, well, for me, it it happened a few weeks ago. I think I joined, and then I said they had a testimony loading. So, 
um, I had been talking to Prophet Pauline and I was telling her that I want to start a small side hustle. <laughs> and we actually yeah. discussed it at length. And um, we were just discussing how I'm going to do the pricing and all that. And I'm happy to report that I did get a first customer. Was it last weekend, but one or something like that. And um, I remember when I was uh, doing the order because it was it was something to do with cooking. And for sure, um, at some point I was thinking I messed up and I just told God, you know, God, when they eat this food, let them feel find it like really sweet, even with all the blunders and mistakes. And let me get a favorable review after this. <clears throat> And yeah, so the lady came for her order, then um, and she, I asked her for her for feedback, and she told me it was really well done and professionally well done. This is something I've never done professionally. <clears throat> so I I thank God for His favor because that's it's not a lot, but it was a way of God providing for me, and I am so grateful. So glory and honor to God. Okay, Mercy. What what did you prepare for them? What do you uh, did you prepare? Samosas. Oh, chapos, chapos, yeah. and oh, chapos and samosas. Yes. Wow, <laughs> that was good. I wish I have to I have come eat some if I come to <laughs> to that place. Wow, that's so good. Yeah, the Lord is gonna gonna lift it up, and uh, you go all the way up. Yeah, can work. Ah, uh, so good. We give God all the honor, all the glory oh i can see apostle donald from omias uh, kenya uh how is the crusade and the um what do you call it is it a was it a revival a conference is it a conference or a convention apostle donald yes sir hello yeah 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 go ahead do you still are you still having the conference and and the crusade uh, concurrently yes we are beginning on tuesday next week okay uh, and you're all you're all prepared for it we are preparing for it we have to begin on 16th through 21st That'll be a good time. <laughs> That'll be. Very, I've yeah. never seen one. I've seen. I've never seen one running concurrently like that because that, those two are major, uh, 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 major kind of uh, happenings. Uh, but but I know you. I know you'll make it. I know you'll make it. Oh my! Otherwise, how? Otherwise, how is Bumias? Bumias, we are doing well, and we thank God for the grace. Yeah, and we are trusting God. Is that, uh, it is a mission of two weeks, uh, in fact. Was we are going to run from the 16th to 21st, and then yeah. 22nd to uh, to 29th. Yeah. Wow. Yes. So the, the next week, the, the week following, we shall be having two consecutive meetings in different places. Where we are going to do a revival and a crusade. Still another another place after this, after the current one, after the one that you are starting. After this one, we shall be going to another place for three days, and then we shall go to another place for three days, and oh, then wow, we come wow. back on Sunday, and we have to come on Monday to Tuesday. After that, <laughs> that yet. You are really unstoppable. You are really on fire. <laughs> now we are just is... trusting God to serve him while we have the grace is still there. We can still serve him. Yeah, you are really determined. Huh? I know God will reward you richly. Amen. And yeah, and you'll be able to bring in as many as many uh, children of God as uh, possible and feed them in the word of God and nourish them, make them grow. And uh, you see now, oh my. That would be that would be really good, and the and you said the 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 other churches are cooperating. Yes, yeah. This one, the, the first week of tomorrow, we are going to have many churches who are coming up, up together, plus my own churches in my ministry. 
So we are going to have a big number of people coming as they are going to come to stay and also we are going to have these owners. Uh, we are first in God to help us to manage all this. Uh, uh, next week we shall be having four churches coming together in one place and four churches in another place together. A revival and a crusade. Wow, that's, that's so nice. So it's, it's like that everywhere. Where churches come together, they work together, come up with, see, instead of having a lot of disagreements and all that, and oh my. And so we give God all the glory, all the honor. Amen. God's back to God. Amen, amen, amen. Wow. That's, a, that's good stuff. Um, any other? So much. Yes. Yeah. That's good. Yes. Good, good. Uh, uh, any other testimony? Some somebody else wants to brag about the goodness of God and His doings. Any other person that's uh, uh, is sitting on a testimony? The Lord Jesus is waiting. Oh, hey, he did it for you. He wants to hear you brag about it. Oh, there's one from Tulsa, Oklahoma. Welcome. Pamela. Amen. Yeah. My name is Pamela. I'm in Tulsa, Oklahoma. I want to yeah. thank God this morning. Um, and yesterday afternoon, um, um, before the um, the boss will bring um, Preston back, it was raining heavily. It was really heavily so i looked at the rain i said god um president is already having cold and we're believing you for healing as he's taking his medication but i don't want this rain to fall on him <laughs> you know i said he will be back the bus will drop him shortly and he will have to walk walk home so i don't my prayer is i don't want him to get soaked in the rain you know for another uh, cold you know the cold to increase on him and all of that and to my amazement god answered that prayer few minutes before the bus will bring him the rain was very heavy and at the time the bus would drop him the rain stopped and he walked home like dry <laughs> i want to thank god you know he said he will answer what we think or imagine I want to thank him for honoring the request, my request that I made yesterday. And I want to urge all of us that we need to be careful. We shouldn't use our tongue to counter what we are asking God to do. Or we shouldn't use our thought to counter what we are asking God to do. And I want to return all glory and honor to him this morning. In Jesus' name. Oh, amen. 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 So that that means you paid uh because you feared that he might he might be soaked in the rain and it was so heavy and he was coming, yes. he was coming with the school bus or something like that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, and you are you are not somewhere at the at the place where they, they drop the kids so that you can pick up your kid? No. They are, so there they allow you just to for the kid to, to just be dropped and walk by, by by himself all the way yeah oh some people in some places you cannot you cannot do that you just have to go and wait for the for for, for your child uh but anyway every stage is a little different yeah See? uh but uh, he, i thank god that he's, he's not a little child anymore oh oh he's a he's a he's a, he's a, he's a, he's a, he's a, he's 12 or he's a, 
How old he'll is be he? he'll be twelve in in July, but he looks like a fourteen. Okay, oh, so it's not a little one. Okay, yeah, yeah that, that one is almost a teen, so he, he can he can make it. All right, and you see the Lord answered your prayer. Yeah. Yes, yeah, we just pray believing. He can hear. He's a, yeah. I mean, he's so close. He's just a player away. This idea of saying that God is all the way in heaven and he lives there. And he has nothing to do with us and stuff like that. That's just far from the truth. See, he's just a prayer away. And some of the, even before you start praying, he already knows that you have that kind of problem. See? Yeah. And he's just waiting for you to mention it. And then he's, he gets into operation. And he can, he's the controller of the universe. He created it in the first place. So he can control it the way he wants. See? <laughs> It can cause the rain to stop in some some areas. Where they, the other areas are still. If you walk a, a little bit, you see the other places. I it rained heavily while for you it did not. See all those kind of things. I'm so glad to see that he answered that prayer almost immediately. Yes, uh, yes because the last time um, it, it was raining, we had an umbrella, so we were you know believing in the umbrella, and the breeze blew the umbrella away. <laughs> oh my life. <laughs> the, breeze, the breeze blew the umbrella away, you know. So there was no point in saying that, oh, uh, I'm going to take an umbrella to go away for him there. It was just to say, God, I don't want him to get wet. And God answered, the rain stopped and he came oh. back home, you know. <laughs> that was so nice. That was so, so good. He gave, he gave God all the glory, all the honor. Amen. He's a good Amen. God. Amen, amen, amen. Do we have any one more, um, any other testimony? Somebody who is still sitting on a testimony, wherever you are, wherever you are. If there isn't, if there isn't, then uh, we are going to go to the next session where we will have the main prayer. We are, we are gonna call our prophet, but before we do, uh, remember to take off your your heart if you have the heart, and you can get a, a good space where you can remove your shoes. And then you go if you're at home that is if you are driving or you're in a public place the, all these things may not you may not be able to do uh but you never know we will never know there's somebody who was told by the lord to to kneel on the where where people do pass you can imagine there's the road a highway that's uh, the vehicles are passing and then there is a pavement a pavement that, that where people pass the person was to kneel right there and start praying can you imagine I mean, it sounds like it's unreal, but when it happens, happens to you, what, what are you gonna do? It just tells you, yeah, to see whether you're gonna be ashamed of him. You see, that's what he said, uh, and then the person obeyed. It was, it was tough, but I couldn't believe. Her. At first, he couldn't believe me right here, and he repeated, yeah, get up, down on your knees, and pray. Yeah, yeah. Because he was used to going in the, the way the Bible says, in, your, in a closet, you lock there, you pray. it's only between you and God, and you pray. But this time he was told in public, in the meeting where people are passing there, it will be an obstruction. But he said, you kneel down, pray. And he obeyed. <laughs> you see? So you never know. So uh, we do that. Okay, so if you happen to be in a better place where you can remove your shoes, remove your hat, on your knees, we can do that. We, we, we humble yourself, ourselves completely, like we mean it. And we have that expectant heart uh, to receive something from God. See, those are the kind of children he's looking for, yeah, who really look, look up on their, on their Father, on their Heavenly Father, to bring down men up from above. All right? So uh, with that, let's to our uh, uh, Pauline to lead us in this session. Welcome. Good morning, everyone. Good evening. Good afternoon. Uh, from wherever you are joining us, uh, we thank you so much for joining us, all of you. Uh, we don't take any of you for granted. We thank you so much for everything. Uh, I want to give this opportunity to Apostle Donna. Do you say do you have an, um, uh, uh, meetings? Uh, could you at least uh, clarify where the meeting, 
meetings are going to be. So maybe if there's anyone of us here and can be able to avail themselves to come and join with you there, they get to be spirit filled. They can be fed and all that, you know, be fed the spiritually, you know, spiritually feeding is very important to each and every one of us. So you can tell us so that we can come there, we get uh, fed the word of God. Kindly, you're welcome, Apostle. Amen. For those who are coming from Kakamega County, yeah, I come from Matogu Sub County. Matungu Sub County and a place called Mungani is a market on your way to Busia. So those from within Matungu they can locate the place. And um, that was that was going to be the first call and we are going to have next week, sixteenth to twenty first. And then there is another one we are going to do in Busia County. It's going to be in Putula West, a place called Makwara. We are going to be there also for three full days, the morning to evening. We are going to have the Christian and the revival meeting going on. And then we shall go back on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. We shall come back to Kakamega County, a place called Harambe. Harambe is on your way to Bungoma, along the way from Mias to Bungoma Road. So we have a market there, we have a church, and we are going to be gathering there, and we are inviting all saints from every denomination, every church, to come and be with us there. So those who can reach us, they are free to come. We are going to provide everything, accommodation for those who cannot make it to their back to their place. We are going to accommodate them. Um, we are going to provide breakfast, lunch, and dinner for all attendees. So we are opening our doors to invite all that are willing to come, especially those who have a desire to know God and to be filled more and to get revived. They're going to come and be with us. So we are requesting all of you to pray with us. And those who can make the place, we, you are most welcome. If you don't know, maybe you can just ask Apostle Lord and you'll, uh, you'll be able to find me or Jesus Restoration Healing Ministries. You will be shown where we are. Thank you. Thank you very much, Apostle Donald. And kindly, as you have heard, uh, Apostle Donald invite you. Uh, he's inviting you for for you to go and fellowship with him. As I always tell you, all of you, this is a ministry where we join hand in hand with other ministers. So as we can, you know, we can do work of God together because together unity, it is very important. Uh, unity is very important to God because God is not God who separates. He says he calls, he calls all these ministers, all of us, with the same spirit. We have been called by the same spirit, but different abilities. But all uh, to all that is the same, the same goal to win, uh, to win souls for God, to win souls for God. So as all the all, all the people who are near uh, uh, Apostle Donald, uh, please, as you have had him invite you, you can go and um, and get fed. You get fed because being fed spiritually, it is very important. You know, we are so focused in feeding our flesh, and that's why we end up becoming either tall or whatever size we become. But when we we neglect we neglect the spirit man who we are supposed to be feeding when we don't connect to those who are are there available to feed and help us because that's why we are told go and feed my frog they are meaning we, they are not feeding uh the fresh they are feeding the spirit man so that you can be strong you can be strong to to you know you can be strong for the journey ahead the journey is 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 the life that you are in right now 
all of you if you think that you are not in a journey uh please wake up and uh so you have been invited uh by our apostle uh donald so i hope uh anyone who is close to to him and you want uh that spiritual feeding it is very important for your growth uh so thank you so much apostle apostle donald and we appreciate you very much amen thank you so much thank you so uh thank you guys for joining us everyone who has given testimony kindly uh lift up your hand so as we can also focus on those who have given their testimony why we always ask people who have given testimony to lift their hand up uh in the time of testimonies because it is um you you came to brag on god and when you bragged on god 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 is always happy to those who brag on him those who who are not ashamed of him because remember it is he it's him who says if you're not ashamed of me i will not be ashamed of you so those who god has have given you wisdom eh? and courage like like ruth sister ruth the way you went and prayed for 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 people let me tell you my dear brothers and sisters whatever ruth did she did it in perfection of god because let me say this we are all called saints you don't need to wait for 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 your minister if you are born again and your spirit filled go ye and hey preach the truth and the truth will set you free and preach the word of god the way it is supposed to go and pray for people huh so we should learn how to be like jesus the way he went to to all corners to to all corners of the places that he was going and pre and preaching the the kingdom and even praying for people just like ruth did so we thank you so much ruth for doing that and allowing god to use you we 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 for us some of us uh some of us here who are not able to do that uh they are learning and so i hope all of you you heard what she did they, she used the tactics of what she has what did she have she had a bicycle and the bicycle she had to ask the the direction and in that she brought people just by what she had just like the way uh our father asked Moses, what do you have in your hand? So you, 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 you knowing that you are, you, you have accepted and received our heavenly father, your spirit filled, you have the baptism of the Holy Spirit in you. And you, you, God is telling you to go and pray for this one or that one or that. My dear, hmm what you did ruth you did it perfectly so we thank god for your life we thank god that you did that because you you don't know what other people may those ones who you are praying for what you help them with so delay is dangerous and that's what i normally tell everyone that delay is dangerous delay is dangerous to to all those who say ah i will do it tomorrow ah maybe when i pass there another time i'll do it yeah maybe you do it but guess what maybe it's too late for that person who you were supposed to be praying for so as you always been told wherever you go carry god wherever you go and bring that 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 god in you present him to all those who want to hear or who don't want to hear just just do your part and god will do the rest so we thank you all for edifying us we want to thank uh pastor peter for leading us we want to thank brother mateo for always there to feed the flock of god we want to thank uh, uh minister Asa, because you are uh, god is just using you mightily to feed us also and we want to thank apostle uh, salim for that word of understanding of why we do uh the 
the holy communion daily because remember the bible also says go house to house in that uh, one of the verses that he read which he uh um there's a place where it says go house to house daily daily house to house there's different type of uh, trans translations so one of the translations says go daily house to house breaking bread and so what does uh house to house mean it's just like we are here in the platform we are in your house huh? and now the the internet is has made it possible for us to be in one in one place uh, we thank God for the good part of it because they, we all know there's a bad side of the internet. And then now we know that we can use this internet just the way the devil uses to corrupt uh, people's mind. We can use it to build people's mind. So remember, as I always tell you, that the devil is always seeking who to devour. So kindly, let, let us be vigilant. Let us be vigilant in, in our prayers. Let us be vigilant in connecting with others who are who have uh, uh, who, who are connecting spiritually so as we can feed that spiritual man in us. So let's um if you're in a place where you can kneel, you can kneel, um, or you can wait until I mention your name. I'll give I'll mention your name maybe two two times two times or three times so as you can uh get settled in um in kneeling if if you have if you are able to if you are able to if you are not able to we understand we understand because every person has a way of communicating with god relationship with god is what matters it is not denomination it is not religion because maybe other people they kneel because of religion so don't don't do what others do do what god and you do okay is about the relationship because any form of doing things can be a religion and that is sad because uh traditions are the things that causes people to depart from god traditions of men if kneeling is just um a, a tradition to you so it is a religion to you and it's not an intimate relationship with god then you are doing it wrong make sure that when you are doing something to approach god if you are doing your humility your huma humility you are doing it to honor him you are doing it to humble yourself so don't uh, do something to please god don't do something to please others or to please anyone or to do it for the tradition purposes or to do it for a religion purposes do it for praising him because it's only him who is worth all our praise and all our our uh, all our humility everything he's worth it all so let's pray dear heavenly father we come before you we thank you jesus for what you're doing in our lives oh dear father we bless you almighty god for what you are to us oh dear father because father you are our true father you are our true father yes you gave us a biological father we are very 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 appreciative of them oh dear father we are very appreciative for our biological mothers and father because you said honor your father and mother for your days will be uh, prolonged and will be fruitful so father we thank you father for those biological mothers and biological uh, fathers but father above it all you said that you are good and perfect father who we come and you said we put you first in everything that we do father we put you first in in all our lives oh dear father we put you first in our in our relationship we put you first in our in our work we put you first in everything that we do so father my god our perfect father our lord jesus Christ, we come humbling ourselves to you, dear Father. We ask you to please forgive us all our sins which we have done knowingly and knowingly. Please, Father, forgive us all our sins because, Father, you as you have said that we sin against you sometimes with our mind, with our mouth, with our part of our bodies. Oh, dear Father, we ask you to cleanse us. 
and forgive us and make us one with you jesus so father we ask you to forgive us cleanse us and wash us with your father with the blood of jesus Christ, because we know that the soap and water cannot cleanse us that uh, to the to the way that you need us to be cleansed no perfume in this world can make us smell sweet aroma to you or your father but only the blood of jesus christ is capable to wash us clean all our sins away and make us smell sweet 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 aroma to 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 your nostrils whereby father you almighty god are attracted by by the covering of the blood of jesus christ on us oh dear father so father my god we ask you to cover us and wash us with the blood of jesus christ father only the blood of jesus christ that is valuable in his word oh dear father oh father my god it's not our tradition of things oh dear father not our religion not our denomination but it's you jesus that you are mighty god who is worth it all and you are the only way and the only true way father so father we thank you and we come oh dear father humbling ourselves thanking you jesus for thanking for cleansing us oh dear father we thank you jesus for cleansing us thank you father for your mercy thank you father for even when oh dear father Oh, Father, when you are crucified, you said it is finished. What was finished was finished that, Father, my God, you have won the battle and you have the victory in each and every one of us, each and every person in this planet, each and every person who have been there and who are, who are existing now and who are going to exist in the future. That, Father, it is finished. Father, there is no more other sacrifices that we on we all we we already have as the ultimate sacrifice that you gave us. So thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Papa. We bless you, Father. We bless you, Almighty God, because it's you, Jesus. Hey, Papa. No one, no one receive glory only you jesus father we thank you we magnify your name thank you father for always being present here father in this uh platform of faith father where father my god we have seen your power we have seen your healing we have seen your deliverance we have seen your miracles and wonders father we thank you jesus we thank you almighty god Father, I bring all your children, Father. I bring Susan. I bring uh, Bishop Simon. I bring Sarah. I bring Sa Apostle Salim. I bring Ruth. I bring Pastor Peter. I bring Pamela. I bring Millicent. I bring Marcy. I bring Mateo. I bring Julius. I bring uh, Pastor Joyce. I bring uh, Joseph. I bring Joan. I bring uh, Esa. Oh, Father, my God, and I bring Apostle Donald, oh dear Lord Jesus Christ. Father, each and every one of us here gathered in your name. In your name, Jesus. Only your name, Papa. You are the one, oh dear Father, who formed us, oh dear Father. So, Father, every one of them, oh dear Father, who is joined here, let them receive more, oh dear Father, than what they they came to do oh dear father whatever who came came to to worship you father let them receive a blessing for worshiping you father the ones who came to ask you father my god let them receive what they came to ask oh dear father in the name of jesus christ and more than what they came for, father the ones who came to <laughs> to knock the door, oh dear Father, they have been knocking and knocking, oh dear Father, Father, my God, open these doors for them, oh dear Father, and much more, oh dear Father. The one who came to seek, 
Oh, Father, they are seeking and seeking and seeking, Father, and they have been seeking. Father, let them find what they have been seeking for. Father, my God, each and every one of us, oh, dear Father, different, different, different motive, different asking, different seeking, different knocking. Father, each and every one of them, they are all your children, Father. Father, my God, oh, dear Father, as I narebo toro koso koribadake, that is for Apostle Donald, oh, dear Father, for for Asa, oh dear father, for Joanne, oh dear father, for Joseph, oh dear father, for Ju Joyce, oh dear father, for Julius, for Matteo, for Marcy, for Millicent, for Pamela, for Peter, for Ruth, for Salim, so, for Sarah, for Simon, for Susan, each and every one of them. Arrekete boruku soko ribata kateri kesekerebu. Oh, soko ribataka. Receive in Jesus' name. Receive every one of you. Erekita roko tovu tukusubari. For God Almighty is saying this, and He's saying it in His word that when you come, and you ask me anything, anything in my name, that is the name of Jesus, I'll do it. I'll do it to hold, to glorify the Father in the Son. Oh, thank you, Jesus. That even he is saying that the time you begin asking, he is already there preparing your package. By the time we finish this prayer, ha, he has already disparted. The, the, the whatever it is that you need through uh, through the, the his power Papa, we thank you, Jesus, that you are ever present from the time we, we joined this uh, platform of faith, even now. And even after we depart from this, Father, that you will be with us, you will walk with us, you will be among us in everything that we do in every aspect of our life, Father. Thank you, Jesus, Father. My God, oh dear Father, even the ones who have come here to join us, oh dear Father, in honor of you, Jesus, not in honor of any minister, not in honor of anybody but in honor of you jesus my god oh dear father reward each and every one of them who are gathered here in the name of jesus christ father i bring all ministers all over the world oh dear father those who have joined us oh dear father and those oh dear father that we know and those who we don't know and those who are not here father my god oh dear father i bring all those ministers all over the world whether we know them or whether we don't know them father my god oh dear father my lord jesus christ these ministers oh dear father my god you're the one who called them you're the one who called them and told them go and 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 preach my word go and feed the frog go and win the souls and so father my god no human being no organization no anyone who appointed them or called them or anointed them or even created them so father you are the one who created these souls and you told them to go and win your children so father my god oh dear father each and every one of them you give them the word you give them the ability you give them the talent each and every minister in this whole wide world oh dear father my god oh dear father i commit them in your in your mighty hand oh dear father my god my god my god my god my god strengthen them Strengthen, strengthen them, oh dear Father. Give them the strength, oh dear Father. Give them the strength, oh dear Father. For oh dear Father, my God, oh dear Father. For you are all your ministers. That is even the ones who are here. Apostle uh, Donald, oh dear Father. Uh, Pastor, uh, Pastor Joyce, oh dear Father. Minister Esa, oh dear Father, my Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, Minister Mateo, oh dear Father, my Lord Jesus Christ. Pastor Peter, oh dear Father. Apostle Salim, oh dear Father. Bishop Bishop uh, Simon, oh dear Father. Each and every one of them, and even the ones who, who could have joined and were not able to join. Even the ones who we don't know. Father, we commit all of them to you, dear Father. Father, give them the strength, oh dear Father. Fill them up, oh dear Father. Renew their strength. Renew their power. Renew everything that is in them, oh dear Father. Even the one who have work to do, oh dear Father, like, like Apostle, Apostle Donald, oh dear Father. My God, oh dear Father, as he gathers your children, oh dear Father, to feed them by Go before him, oh dear Father. 
make way for him where they seem to be knowing. Angarevo turu kuto baraka seke boroko shi de rabotera. Iki si ka raboto sokori batareke siki. Father, even I commit all their family members, all their family members, all their father. He reboto rukuto raka saka boto roko si borikata. He siki boroko se botekara. Angareki kiki chichi de himoto roko soki maraba. Even their ministry or their father. And lift them up, oh dear Father. Oh, Tareki Tiroko Sokori. Enlarge their territories. Enlarge their ministry, oh dear Father. He kaboto ruko soboto ruko se karakati bo ruba chikire. Andare kere kibo roko to ruko su karaboto shida rabova. Andare tikida ribotu. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Father, I bring all those who have given their testimony. Because, Father, you always have a reward for each and every one who come to brag on you. To brag on you. Father, I bring, oh dear Father, my God. Apostle Dr. Sokorika. Apostle Donald, oh dear Father. Mercy, oh dear Father. Ruth, oh dear Father. Pamela, oh dear Father. Pastor Peter, oh dear Father. O reke de boroko to rukutura sakarobo si kerebo to riata. Handare boroko sokori. For Apostle Donald, oh dear Father. E rekita raka boto. He si kivo ruba takate. He kavoto rukusuku ribata reki si kavoboti. Your breast and highly favored in Jesus' name. He kavoto rukusuku ribata reki. For mercy, oh dear Father. E kavoto rukusuku Suka rabo sibo rika rosso o carabo to ribate i kivuru kutu ruku shada rabo bati in Jesus name for your blessing highly favored in Jesus name for Pamela he rabo to ruko suku ribata reke si kivuru kusuku ja handa reke rebo to ruko se i kabo bo ruko si baraka for your blessing highly favored in Jesus name for Ruth oh dear father he kabo to ruko ti va rebo to ruku si handa reke bo ruko so boti kara Boto soko bati kara, anda reke seke boroko shiki daraka seki de botu, anda rebute ruse baraka bobiti. Your blessing highly favored in Jesus name. For Pastor Peter, he reketi boroko suku ribata reke botu vare bota kati. He kabo boroko suku ribati. He kabo boroko su ete leke si kabo boti in Jesus name. For your blessing highly favored in Jesus name. Thank you Jesus for blessing mercy. Thank you Father for blessing Ruth, oh dear Father. Thank you, Jesus, for blessing Pamela. Thank you, Jesus, for blessing, oh dear Father Peter. For oh dear Father, their reward, oh dear Father. It is you who reward them. It is you who give them overflow in Jesus' name. Father, I bring, oh dear Father, my God, oh dear Father. All those who are gathered here in the name of Jesus Christ. Apostle Donald, Asa, oh dear Father. Joanne, Joseph, Joyce, Julius, Matteo, Mercy, Millicent, Pamela, Peter. Ruth, Salim, Sarah, Simon, Susan, all of them, oh dear Father, my God, oh dear Father. I commit all of them in your mighty hand, oh dear Father. You know them better than, than we know them. And you know them better than they know themselves. Because Father, remember, you are the one, Father, you say that you are the author of their life, Father. You even know even more intimate things about them. More, and that's why you require us to be intimate with you, knowing and worshipping you intimately with spirit and truth. Oh dear Father, so Father, we know Father. Even you know so much detail of our of our skins, of our hair. Oh dear Father, even you know the follicles. How many follicles of hair, Father, we have on our head? Us personally, none of us know what we have in our head, unless maybe it's computerized, Father. But Father, my God, you all, Lord Jesus Christ, are the one who knows, oh dear Father, us individually, intimate uh, Father, because Father, you require us to worship you in spirit and truth, oh dear Father. So we thank you, Jesus, for all that you're doing in our lives, oh dear Father. Father, I commit, oh dear Father, Oh, rekete boroko soku di baraka. I bring uh, uh, minister, minister, minister Esa. 
Esa en the family. Esa en the family. I bring Esa, oh dear father. O reque de voto, roco soco, ribata reque seque borroche, te boca raboto. Halta reque seque borroco soque carreco. Halta voto soco ribata robosi. Father, I bring Esa, oh dear father. Era cata reque voto, roco soco ribata reque se. Iba reboto, roco soco ribara cateque. Esa's wife, oh dear father. Erequida racaboto, roco soco ribata reque. Esas children, oh dear father, kere kibo ruku to ruku sakari, e kaboto soko rika na katiki la katiki semo. Esa, oh dear father, eh, family that everyone who is connected to him, oh dear father, ere keda voto riki kebo roko bo si kera kabo bo di kebo, andare kiriki se koroko. For esas, oh dear father, give him, oh dear father, my God, as he requests, oh dear father, whatever he requests, that divine healing. Divine deliverance, divine miracles and wonders in his life, oh dear father. Oh father, thank you, oh dear father, for giving him divine connection, divine breakthroughs, divine financial breakthrough. Everything, Father, it is from you, Jesus. So, Father, we thank you, Jesus, for honoring him, for blessing him, oh dear father, and raising him up, oh dear father, for your glory, oh dear father. Corribata Kadeketi, the sea, Eva Remotoro Cosique Baracashi, Eka Bondoro Cosica Motoricashi, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, Father, my God, we bring O dear Father, O Rakata Borroco Socori, Joan Zimunia, Joan Zimunia, Erekita Rakavo Boto Sucuribata Boto Risheti, Eka Boto Roco Socori, Joan Zimunia. Hold your mid, mid, the mid of the, your mid, your mid of, right here at the mid of your back, the mid of your back as you see me do. Arakate rekita rakate voto soko riba, e kareki tisiki. Ah, ika voto soko rikata voto soko ra. Ika voto suku ribata rekese. Ika ravoto soku bata kareke. Sika voto. Ho bariki tiro koto pura kateke si. Ika rakate voroko sobo ribata ke. Handa reke seke voroku sobo riki si. Iba revoto roko di ki yada revoso. Hurika se. Move your hands to your chest. Ah, Joan Zimunya. Ereke te voroko suku ribata re. Isa kaboto roko si bare. Handa reki si kaboto roko shobare. Ika voboto roshi. He kavobu tsusuva ne kimorodo e kiriki taraka. Move your hands to your eyes. Arakate voto ruku si kavobu rika. E kavani kamoto so. Ivarebo toru shatene. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. E rakanda reke si kivoru suvareva. In Jesus' name, we give glory and our back to you, Jesus. We give glory and our back to you, Holy Spirit. We give glory and our back to you, my God. Father, we bring all your father, Minister Mateo. Minister Mateo, Mateo. Eretira katavo toro kosu kuribata voto si borivare. Era voto so kuribata re. Iva raboto so kuribata voci de la casi. Iva reboto so kuribata re. Que borusso kuribata ribo tu subare. Eva ribata seke borokoso. Minister Mateo, kindly press your hands on top of your head. On top of your head. Erekete voto roko su kuribata mo. Hota re vo roko si barakate vo ruba chite leke. Isa ka voto roko su kumetara. Eka vo potur lo kunse kana reke se ki vo ru da raka se. Ika voto roko shata reke se ke na moto roko su. Handare se ke vo ru shita raka se. Ika voto su kuribata re. Eka ra voto roko si Fresh anointing in Jesus' name. Fresh anointing in Jesus' name. Fresh anointing in Jesus' name. And the revotoso corribata voto si bote ravo. O sacato roco so botibare. He sacavo to botushi. I carrevoto roco barracavo badacachite laki. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Father, we give glory and our back to you, Jesus. We give glory and our 
now back to you, Holy Spirit. We give glory now back to you, my God. Father, we give glory now back to you, Jesus Christ. We give glory now back to you, Holy Spirit. We give glory now back to you, my God. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Father, we bring all dear Father. Mercy, Jogona. Masi Jogona, Arakate, Voruku Suku, Ribatavoto, Short River, Base, Masi Jogona, Erekita, Rako, Toso, Koribatari. Move your hands to your, to, to your, uh, to, to your, to your, the chest, at the chest. Erekete, Voruku Suku, Ribatari, Vushutu, Rokoba, Rivare, Hesa Karavoto, Rika Ravoshete, Handareke de Vodo, So, Ribataboto, Rika Takaseki, Vareboshi, E Karavoto, Roko Soko, Ribata rekeseki, vurabota sekirika, andare kerekeseki vorushu du lakasi. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, move your hands to your belly, move your hands to your belly. Masi jogona, ereketi liki sakarotso kurika dabo, ikaboto soko ribata rekesi, e karaboto soko ribata rekandisi, ivarebo toro koto rushita rakansi. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. Father, we bring all your father, Pamela, Pamela, Erekete, Fusu, Kuriba. We bring Pamela and Preston. Pamela and Preston, oh dear Father. Erekete vutu roshet ribatari. Ekavoto suvo riba raboto soko ribatari. Ekavoto sobo ribatakadeke. Ekavoto rusu bata. Isakavo roshe. Father, you are the one, oh dear Father, who called, oh dear Father, Pamela and Preston. Era darra kita rasevo roko suva rebo tiba rakashi. I kavopo to suku ribatare. He si kemo roko so manakasi. E darubo to so koribadara. E varibo roko so koribatare. E varaboto so koribotosu. Hadirisiki voroko. From the top of their head, oh dear father. To the bottom of their feet, oh dear father. From the top of their head, oh dear father. To the bottom of their feet, father. Harakete voroko so koribatikile. E sakabo roko sike riki moroko. From the top of their head, oh dear father. To the bottom of their feet. E rekisiki moroko so karakati. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. Thank you, my God. For Ricardo Rocco Soko Ribatari, for intervening, oh dear Father, in every decade, but Rocco Sika Raboto Rekisi. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. Father, we bring Pastor Peter, oh dear Father, Pastor Peter. We bring Pastor Peter Degua, Ereketi Borrocoso, Corribata Reke, Seke, Borussia Tele, Ecaboto Rocoso, Corribata Cate, Kitiki Sacaraboto, I Caraboto, Beberete Rikisi, E Caributoso, Corribata Rekesi, Adare, Kereki Borrocoso, Barrica Sacabotori, E Cabo Borrocoto, Rocoti, Borribarraca Sacaboto, E Seke Marucci, Rucun Seke Laboti, E Barremo Rosso Codi Lekesi, for his family, for his ministry, E Kita Racate, Borrucu Subarederi, E Caboto, Russia da Racate, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, Father, we bring Ruth, Ruth Bogwa. Father, we bring Ruth Bogwa. Erekita Rakavo Boto Soko Ribata Voto So. Ruth Bogwa, kindly press your hands on your belly. Press your hands on your belly. Erekete Vurukoshu Barevo So. Handareke Tivo Rokoso Rifa Revo Shatareke. Eka Raboto Rokoso Bare. Father, for Ruth Bogwa's family, children of your father, and everyone who is connected to her. Erekete Vuroko Soko Ribata Rekesi. Eka Voto Rukusuku Ribata Rakase. Kevo rushate, e kavoto rosso kodi kisi kari shatara, e si kevo roko tu rashatere. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father, for releasing them. Thank you, Jesus, O dear Father, for great mighty things. O de kete boroko tori kete borushi, e karabo to borrekonta, e kevoto ruku subare kete. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. Father, we give the botor rokoso kori katareke. We give glory and honor back to you, Jesus. We give glory and honor back to your Spirit. We give 
grow, you know, about your mighty God. Father, my Lord Jesus Christ, we bring all your father, Apostle Salim, Apostle Salim, Merekita Rakate, Borosso, Butikila, Tele, Kise, Ikaboto, Roko, Subareke, Adareke, Seke, Buruku, Shuta, Rakase, for Apostle Salim, Merekete, Vutu, Kuruku, Sheta, Rakase, K. Iva reboto su curibata rekisi. Iva reboto su curibata rakase. Eva raboto rokosi ke rakashiti. Ikiburra batareke se kaboto rukushita rakashe. He kaboba rukosoko ribatare ke se kenga rabond rusu. He kabutu rukusha tareke se kemon rusha nakadare. Iva rebo tuti karaka seke morita rakase. Iva rebo toro koso. Ika rebo tu barakade rekita rekese kebo rusheti. In Jesus name. In Jesus name. In Jesus name. Father, we give glory and now back to you, Jesus. We give glory and now back to you, Holy Spirit. We give glory and now back to you, my God. Father, we bring all your father, Apostle Salim's wife. Oh dear Father, Erekita Rakansi Kimo Roko Tuva Rebose Kemo Tu Roshita Re Ikaboto Roshi Barekena Rakanse Kemo Tu Roshu Poro Kotiva Ekivotu Guru Suku Ribata Rekese Ki Iva Revoso Koribare Parekese for their ministry or dear father for their children or dear father Ikaboto Soko Ribata Riki Sike Vorosheti Isakodo Roko Maneki Karabota Bati in Jesus name in Jesus Jesus name. Father, we give glory and our back to you, Jesus. We give glory and our back to you, Holy Spirit. We give glory and our back to you, mighty God. Father, we bring Bishop Simon. Bishop Simon, oh dear Father, Erekete Vurukuta Rakase Kebo Rushu Tahob Hata Rekese. Father, we bring Bishop Simon, Bishop Simon, Erakate Rekis, Kibo Rutu Subodokata, Ekavopo Ture Kasakavopo Tushidela, Ekaravoso, Korikata Rekese. Iva rebotoso koribata rekesi. Iva raka saka rediki. For his family, oh dear father. Ere kenda raka se borosho toroko. Obaniki sika borose ke vote. For his children, oh dear father. Anamo toroko se botila kase. Iva rebotoso koribata rekesi. For his wife, oh dear father. Ere kemo rukusuba rekende borokoso. Ika boto rika boto rika daraka se ke votoso. In Jesus name. Father for his ministry, oh dear father, era kanda rekese kebo tu rikata vo marakase, ivarete kutu, shibareke tise karavo, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. Thank you, father, thank you, Jesus. Ere kunda rekese kebo tu rakase, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. Father, my God, oh dear father, I bring all your children, oh dear father, Susan, Bishop Simon, Sarah, Lud or dear father, Pastor Peter, Pamela, Miris, uh, Mir, Miriam or dear father, uh, Marcy, Brother Mateo, Pastor Joyce, Joseph, Joan, Esa, Apostle Donald. Areketi vorokoso kori batare kese ki vorokoso kori batare kese iva raboto rukushota reka saka reboto so iva reboto rukuna kada kase iva have not prayed for you individually kindly kindly uh iva have not prayed for you individually kindly uh lift up your hand on the screen so as i can commit all those who have joined us right now and those who have have not prayed for individually i believe susan lift up your hand please uh Sarah, uh lift up your hand please um Sarah. Miriam Jomo, I believe uh, Elizabeth Kani, you can lift up your hand so that we can do the prayer. Um, thank you for joining us. Apostle Donald, kindly lift up your hand on the screen, please. On the screen, uh, Heron, uh, Bishop Heron, you can lift up your hand on the screen, please. Uh, Joseph Kibebe. Kindly lift up your hand on the screen, please.
All those who have not prayed for individually, kindly lift up your hand on the screen. Uh, please. Father, I bring, oh dear Father, my God, oh dear Lord Jesus Christ. Father, my God, my Jesus, you're the one who called all these, your children, oh dear Father. Each and every one of them, Father. You're the one who called them. That is uh, Pastor Joyce, oh dear Father. Miriam Jomo, oh dear Father. That is um, Sarah, oh dear Father. Susan, Elizabeth, uh, Harold, Bishop Harold, Joseph, oh dear Father, and Apostle Donald. Kindly lift up your hand, please. In Jesus' name. Father, we bring, oh dear Father, Pastor Joyce, oh dear Father. Erekita rakase kiboruku shutu ruku saka boboti la kisi kiboruku shita re iva rebo to ruku sok de bosu ika rabo to bode kisi Father, thank you, Jesus, for her, for her family, for her husband, for her children, for her ministry. Erekita rakate boruku sukuri batare kisi kaboto ruke si kereki ika rebo to ruku ngo de bore batare kensi kendre si isa kamo to ruku sori katare. Father, I bring Miriam, Miriam Jomo. Press your right hand, uh, your right hand on top of your belly. Miriam, oh dear Father, we bring Miriam, oh dear Father, my God, reketi boroko soko ribatare, he karaboto soko ribatare kese, he varaboto tu kurubate le kisa, andare kese ke boroko tuba chete, he variboto su, kinga reboto rukusu, he karaboto roko soko ribatake, he variboto su kuribatake. Move your hands on on your chest, ah uh, Miriam, erekete boroko tu rakase ke boroko tare, andare ke ti boroko sobari. Father, you are the power of the Rekisa Karovo Tosu. Handarevo Rokusu Maneke Sikire. Morevo Rokusu Maneke. Go before how, dear Father. Me pue when I seem to be knowing. He revotu Rusuba Rekete Rekina Motoroko. Father, for your glory. For your glory, oh dear Father. Thank you, Jesus, because you always will for your children. Thank you, mighty God. We bless you, Father. We thank you, Jesus. Oh dear Father, thank you for going before how, dear Father. Father, we bring, oh dear Father, Sarah. Oh dear Father, here a kete boroko soko ribata reke seke. Sarah, press your hands on top of your head. Here a kanta reke boroko soko ribata reke te kumbara kanda re seke da bo. Kanda reke seke boroko seke re kinda rakateri. He ka boroko soko ribata reke seke boroche tira. Hansa ka bo bo tu kurus. Kina mo to roko chingi de bo roko sebera. He ra kambo to roko simani kiti. I ka bo to roko sobori. I va rabo chokuriki. For Sarah's family, oh dear Father, he ra kanda re bo to roko shubate. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, Father, we give glory and our back to you, Jesus. We give glory and our back to you, Holy Spirit. We give glory and our back to you, Mary God. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, Father, I bring Susan, Susan, oh dear Father. Father, Susan, kindly press your hands on top of your chest, please. Era kata vuto suku ribata reko ndara kase ke boroshi ti la kade rivote. Handare ke de ke boroko so ribata reke si ka boroshi ti. In Jesus' name, Father, I bring Susan's children, oh dear Father. Era kanda vuto roko so kuribata rakase ke boroshi ti la. Handa vuto roko vuto roko si ka boroshi ti va va vuto roko si. Father, I boroko so bariki. Eva rakase ke robati te. Father, I bring Susan's family, oh dear Father. Era ke man. Daramoto in Jesus name. Herebuto robo so marekati in Jesus name. Father, we give glory and about to you, Jesus. We give glory and about to you, Holy Spirit. We give glory and about to you, my God. Father, we bring all oh, dear Father, my God, oh Lord Jesus Christ. We bring. Elizabeth, oh dear Father, Erekita Rakase ke boroko soko ribata rekese, Ekaboto soko ribata rekese ke boroko shuba rekata rekete boroso ko he, Hata rekesi ki boroko sobo rika, Eva refumba da kese ke borusha tare. Father, my God, give her, oh dear Father, the wisdom, the knowledge, the courage, oh Father, strengthen her, oh dear Father. Help our dear Lord Jesus Christ. Father, you are the one 
who restores everything, oh dear Father. You are the one who restores, Father. Father, restore, restore everything. Father, restore, give her the divine, divine healing. Give her divine healing. Give her divine deliverance. Give her divine miracles and wonders in her life. Father, my God, oh dear Father. Hallelujah, Papa. Father, my God, oh dear Father. Father, my God, oh dear Father. My God, oh dear Father. I present oh, Rekete Boroko Soko Ribata Reke Seke Boroshe. For Elizabeth family, Erakata Boroko Soko Ribata Reke Seke Borosoko Ribata Kade, E Karavoto Soko Ribata Re, Iseki Boroboshe Tarade, the King de Vobotushi. Thank you, Father, for enlightening her territories. Father, my God, oh dear Father, thank you for Rere Botoroko Sekira Rashi. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Almighty God. Ere kinda rakande voroko soko ribatare ke seke voru singarabu in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, Father, I bring Bishop Bishop Hiron Kerago. Ere kade voto soko ribatare ke seki voroko soko ribatare e kabobo toro koso ko ribatare ki voru kasake. Father, you are the one who appointed him. You are the one who akare ke ti voroko soko ribatare. Father, I bring Hiron Bishop Hiron wife or dear Father. I bring Bishop Heron children, oh dear father. Father, I bring Bishop Heron uh, ministries, oh dear father. Thank you, Father, for expanding his territories, oh dear father. Father, my God, oh dear father, give him strength, oh dear father. Father, to continue to press on, oh dear Father, strengthen yes, him, oh dear Father, refill yes. him, oh dear Father, fresh anointing upon him, oh dear Father, in Jesus fresh anointing Hallelujah. upon him, oh dear Father, Ela Kanda Reki, Tira Kata Voroko Torreboto, lift him up, yes. oh dear Father, to go and do what you have called him to do, strengthen him, yes. oh dear Father, give yes. him divine yes. connection, oh dear Father, divine yes. ability. Oh dear Father, divine mm. miracles and wonders. Let them yes. let all these divine miracles and wonders follow him, oh yes. dear Father, all the days of his life, oh dear Father. He can rabo toro koto kushita rego ro se maraka. Father, we yes. thank you, Jesus, for his life. Yes. Thank you, Jesus, for his ministry. Thank you for expanding and enlarging his territories, Father. Yes. For all this, Father, is not for mm. his glory, but for your glory, Lord Jesus Christ. Yes. For we Lord. give glory and honor back to you, Jesus. We give mm. glory and honor back to you, Holy Spirit. We give glory mm. and honor back to you, my God. Thank yes. you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Father, we bring, oh dear Lord Jesus Christ, uh, uh, Joseph, oh dear father, Joseph, oh Rekevi, oh Rokoto, Roko, Sikirevo, Ruku, Sakarevo, Tika, Ravo, Bozi, Eva, Ruba, Taraka, Sekevo, Rubati. Father, I bring Joseph's family, oh dear father, E Rekete, oh Roko, oh Ruku, Su, Hadareke, Tibo, Roko, Soko, Ribatare, Isakabo, Tosoko, Ribata, E Rekibo, Roko, Reki, si. Joseph, uh, Kibebe, kindly press your hands uh, on the back of your head, the back of your head, the back of your head, E Rekibo, Kita rakate revoto roko si kivo ripata revo. Huta reke se kevo roko su kurika ta reke se kevo rate de se kuriva de. In Jesus name, in Jesus name, in Jesus name. Papa rekente re singa voto roko tu baresi. Iva revo roso. For his family, oh dear father. He revoto roko su kuriva de vo roko se kivo roko si kire. Oh rakata reke. Give him divine connection, divine abilities of reke te vo roko su kuriva ta reke. Divine deliverance, divine miracles and wonders. Heraboto Roko Teke Reke Tibo Roko Sikarabote. Divine breakthroughs, oh dear Father. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Father, I bring all your children, oh dear Father. Nibana Reke Tisikiraboto Roko Soko Ribatare. For uh 
Pastor Joyce, oh dear Father, you are blessed and highly favored in Jesus' name. For Susan, you are blessed and highly. Erekebo toro koto kuru kusu kuri batareke seki vuroba taka tara keseke. Hanga reke de kisi kivoroko. You are blessed and highly favored in Jesus' name. For Bishop Herod, you are blessed and highly favored in Jesus' name. For uh, Joseph, you are blessed and highly favored in Jesus' name. For Sarah, you are blessed and highly favored in Jesus' name. Father, Erekita Rakase Kibo Roko Sovo Rebatare Kede Kereke Enamoru. For Esa Odia Father. For Dolika Odia Father. For Oh, Rekete Kisa Karaka Sevo Roko Soko Rikatele Kinga Rabote Siki Moru Kota Rakashe Tila Kase Koroko Se. For Joan Odia Father. For Joseph Odia Father. For Joyce, oh dear father, for Mateo, oh dear father, for Marcy, oh dear father, for Miriam, oh dear father, for Pamela, for Peter, for Ruth, for Sarah, for Simon, for Susan, Erekina, Rakate, Rekis, Kimo, Rokoto, Roko, Shita, Rakate, Dorica, press your hands on top of your head, Arakate, for Rokoto, Ruth, Sukuri, Batareke, Siki, for Ruth, Rushi, Barakaboba, Tikalesi, Kinga, Handareke, Tebo, Roko, Sokuri, Kateleki, Hatareki, Siki, for Ruku, Subareke, for Ru, Handareki, Tibo, Roko, Sokuri, Tandere, Motor Rukutika Rabotima de Kimadari is King Garavoto, Roca de Rese, Rinaravoto, Rokoni, Nana Kese, even at the Sambo Roboturiki. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. Father, we give glory and all back to you, Jesus. We give glory and all back to you, Holy Spirit. We give glory and all back to you, Mary God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. We give glory and all back to you, Jesus Christ. We give glory and all back to you, Holy Spirit. We give glory and all back to you, Mary God. Father, my God, we bring all the people who are sick, all dear Father. My Lord Jesus Christ, all the people who are sick all over the world. Oh, dear Lord Jesus Christ, he rekete voto roko tuba rekiti. He ke sika voto roko sovo ribata reke. They are calling upon you, dear Father. Their family members are calling upon you, Lord Jesus Christ. Wherever these people who are sick, oh, dear Father, in every continent, in every corner of the world. Mm. Father, we care about the soko ribata reke seke vorroko soko ribadaka. As we remember also, Father, the 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 nephew of Leverend Leverend uh, Norman, oh dear Father, in Zambia, oh dear Father, who is in uh, in the hospital, oh dear Father. We want to thank you, Jesus, for helping him to come out from the ICU now, Father. And thank you, Father, that the good report that Father is doing good, oh dear Father, because of your mighty power. Thank you, Jesus, for healing him. Thank you, Father, even for removing him from the from an ICU to a, 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 a step down, oh dear Father. Father, we thank you, Father, because we know, Father, when we cried upon you, oh dear Father, we told you, Father, to heal him. We told you to turn around everything, so dear Father. My God, we came here and we asked you, Father, that, Father, you heal him. Father, and you are, you have healed him. You have healed him because even for him to move from ICU to Father, to the step down where he is now, dear Father. My God, it is because of your favor, because of your healing, because of your love, oh dear Father. So Father, thank you, Jesus, for healing, oh dear Father, the nephew of Leverend Norman, oh dear Father, in Zambia, oh dear Father. Because Father, you said this, that is not a barrier to you, Father. So Father, thank you, Father, for not only healing his, his body, oh dear Father. Thank you, Father, for restoring his body, restoring his spirit, restoring his faith, restoring Restoring his 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 strength, oh dear Father. Restoring, oh dear Father, his emotion. Thank you, Father, for restoring everything that the devil was trying to steal from him, oh dear Father. Thank you, Father, for healing him, oh dear Father, in his emotional healing, Father, physical healing, mental healing, spiritual healing. Thank you for healing him and everyone else, oh dear Father, all over the world who requires the healing, oh dear Father. Thank you, Jesus, in advance for Thank you for healing. Healing them. Oh, the raka tarre voto riba tarre kese go ro ro kosebori. Father, we thank you and we honor you, dear Father. Thank you for honoring us, oh dear Father. Thank you for always honoring us. Thank you for always answering us, Father. Thank you, Jesus, because only you, Jesus, my Redeemer, you have done it. You have done it, Lord Jesus Christ, for your glory, for your glory. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father, Father, my God, because you said whatever we ask in the name of Jesus. 
Christ. You will do it to glorify the Father in the Son. Thank you, Father, for glorifying the Father in the Son, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father, my God. Thank you, Father, for even divine, divine deliverance, oh, dear Father, oh, dear Father, for those who are seeking deliverance, Father. Thank you, Father, for giving them the deliverance, oh, dear Father. Thank you for giving them not just deliverance, divine a divine deliverance father thank you jesus thank you father thank you father for those who are seeking miracles and wonders of your father in their life thank you jesus for providing for them not just miracles and wonders but also father divine miracles and wonders in their life divine miracles and wonders in their life thank you jesus thank you father and the river Rabotor Rocose Bodaka Seki Buribata, Evo Ribata Reke Boroso. Thank you, Father, my God. We give glory and our back to you, Jesus. We give glory and our back to you, Jesus. We give glory and our back to you, Jesus. We give glory and our back to you, Jesus. We give glory and our Father, thank you, Jesus, for everything. Thank you for honoring us, oh dear Father. Thank you, Father, for blessing us, oh dear Father. My God, oh dear Father. My God, please bless everyone who is connected here, oh dear Father. Everyone who has stopped whatever they were doing to just come and fellowship with us, oh dear Father. In this platform of faith, oh dear Father. My God, this platform of faith is not ours. It is yours, Father. My God, oh dear Father, as you are the leader of this platform of faith. Father, thank you, Jesus, for bringing all these people. And Father, my God, and giving them a strong connection. Oh dear Father, thank you, Father. That 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 the way they, this, the, the, when we live here, Father, the way they live, is gonna be better and greater than they came oh dear father my god thank you for feeding each and every one of them thank you father for restoring each and every one of them thank you father Oh my God, because you always are faithful. Thank you, Father, because you are faithful, God. You are faithful, Father. You never leave us on. Father, we thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Father, my God. For Ika Rakate, for Esa, for Dorica, for Herod, for for Joanne, for Joseph, for Joyce, oh dear Father, for Matteo, for Marcy, for Miriam, for Pamela, for Peter, for Ruth, for Sarah, for Simon, for Susan. I decree and declare they are blessed and highly favored in Jesus' name. That they will never lack anything, oh dear Father. Because Father, you are always there to hear them. You are always there to guide them. You are always there to protect them. Thank you, Jesus, Father, for honoring them. Thank you, Father, for providing for them everything they need in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you, oh dear Father, even for the people who are watching these prayers, oh dear Father, my God. Those who are just watching, oh dear Father, if they came here, oh dear Father, with their need, oh dear Father, for healing, deliverance, miracles and wonders in their life, oh dear Father. Father, we ask you, oh dear Father, answer their prayer, oh dear Father. He can raboto rokoto kuribatare se kivoroshe. He can boto roku su kuribatare. Handare kuturji karakate. He se kivoroko. Let them receive whatever, oh dear Father, they came for, oh dear Father, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. For reke di burrukuta reke se kemo ruku shita I decree and declare, oh dear Father, that, oh dear Father, by the power and the authority that you've given me, oh dear Father, that everyone who is watching this, either live, live or recorded, oh dear Father, they are blessed and highly favored in Jesus' name. They are blessed and highly favored in Jesus' name. They are blessed and highly favored in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Almighty God. For it's in Jesus' name we pray and believe. Amen, amen, amen. Our Father who art in heaven, holy be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Another in heaven, give us today everything. our daily bread and forgive us our sins. Let's see, forgive those who sin against us, lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from it. For thy the kingdom, the power, the glory are all yours now and forevermore. Amen, amen, amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now. No, it's wonderful. Wonderful. Amen, amen, amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Pastor Peter, please. Oh, thank you so much uh, for that uh, wonderful uh, session of, uh, of uh, prayer. I believe each and every one of us has uh, received something from God, and we are more than grateful for that. As for now, we go to another session, which is the admin updates. Welcome.
Yeah, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Um, thank you for those who are joining us for the first time. Uh, we join here every single more, uh, every single day. Um, use the same link that you've joined. And also for those who are returning, thank you so much for always joining us. Um, may God continue to bless you and do mighty things in your life. Um, so for today's announcement, I wanted to remind you that we do have a mission uh, trip coming up. And that mission trip will be the third trip that we are completing. Uh, we've completed two successful ones. So this will be the third one. And this will start from, um, we'll start from Texas and then go into Oregon. And then from Oregon, we'll go to Zimbabwe. And then we'll go to Zambia, Malawi, Tanzania. And then from Tanzania, we'll head to Kenya. And, uh, and then from Kenya, we'll go to Uganda. And then from Uganda, we'll come back to the US territories. So let's continue to commit uh, this mission team and, and journey uh, in prayers, because this will happen this year in July of 2024. Uh, so we are planning and we ask that you continue to pray for, for the team and also to continue to, to support them uh, financially. And to do so financially, you can give either through Zelle, you can also give through M-Pesa, this cash app, GoFundMe, and PayPal, and I have put uh, the numbers that you would need on the on the messaging. So use those numbers that we have there to give. And we thank you so much for those who have given. So I just announced those who have given at least in the last this week, because we refresh this list every week, and that's Yolanda in Oklahoma. I've uh, given through Zelle. Thank you, uh, Yolanda. And then there's Miriam, uh, Miriam in Kenya, Miriam Toto has given through M-Pesa. Thank you, Miriam. And then there's Ruth Bogwa who has given uh, M through M-Pesa and Ruth is in, in Kenya. So thank you so, so much for your giving. And I will leave you with the words of Luke 6, 38, reading from the NIV version. And that reads that give and will be given to you. A good measure pressed down, shaken together, running over, will be poured into your lap. For the measure you use will be measured to you. So thank you again um, for joining us and thank you for those who have given. And I'll turn it over to you, Pastor Peter, to pray for the tithes and offering. And I also wish you a good oh. day. Thank you. Okay, thank you so much for that session. So let us uh, close our eyes and in reverence to and humility to the Almighty God. Uh, our dear Heavenly Father is so grateful unto thee, dear Lord. At this moment, we humble ourselves, come to thee, Lord, just guide in our presence. Heavenly Father, we do recognize our greatness, dear Lord. We do recognize our littleness, Heavenly Father, dear Lord God. Thank you for leading us in all the sessions, Heavenly Father. Dear Brian, we're on. You've commanded us to be having this fellowship every day. And you have seen that for your visitation, Heavenly Father, almost every day. With the packages, with the giftings, with the blessings, Heavenly Father. Therefore, yeah, God, as you continue nourishing us, making us stronger in the Lord, we thank you, Heavenly Father, and we encourage you, God, and even now, as we leave, as we go through our things, as we go to your church, as we are going to sleep, as we are waking up, Heavenly Father, so we will be to Lord, we pray that we do the to your name of God, and we will be to your Father, and we will be to your we do not Lord, we don't want to lead ourselves to your Lord. We are your sheep, and we are the sheep of our father, of our father, and father. And we don't want our shepherd, dear Lord. We pray that you shall find us, Heavenly Father, in the course of the day, even as we go to the hospitals, as we go to our places, as we go into our businesses, whatever it is, oh, Heavenly Father, dear Lord God, we are committing ourselves unto thee, dear Lord. We pray you take preeminence, take the rule as you take the Lord into our life, dear Lord. Be our guide, be our everything, Heavenly Father, dear Lord God. Be in us, be all around us, Heavenly Father, that we may have a closer walk with thee, dear Lord. We praise you, we honor you, for it's in Jesus' name we pray and believe. Amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Ghost be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Matthias, the Good morning, uh, good afternoon, good evening. First of all, I want to say to all the people that joined us, we really appreciate it. We do not take it for granted. Also, 
Uh, thank you for this opportunity. I really appreciate it. I do not take it for granted. I want to take this time to bless you as you go into your jobs, whatever the Lord has called you to do for today. In the name of Jesus Christ, Elohim, O Karush, and Yeshua. With the Arnic blessing for number 6, 24 to 26, in Hebrew, Italian, Spanish, English, God is so good in Korean and English. How great is our God in Russian and Mandarin Chinese. With the quotation of number 6, 24 to 26, with the conclusion of the shofar. And I encourage all of you, if you can, but if not, it's understandable. No worries at all. To raise your hands as I do the Aaronic blessing. In the name of Elohim, Kadosh, Yeshua. Yevarecha Adonai Daish Marecha Ya Er Adonai Padonav Elecha de Unecha Yesa Adonai Hana Velecha Yasim Lecha Shalom Yasim Lecha Shalom Dio te protega y bendiga, que explenerie si el borde, suerte a la gracia, su arte, volga y su guardo, pache ti día, pache ti día, Dios te guarde y bendiga. Que extienda su amor y muestre favor. Dios te mire con agrado y te dé paz. Y te dé paz. Y te dé paz. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you. And be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. And give you peace. Joho sin hananim. Joho sin hananim. Chanjo sin nae ananem. God is so good. God is so good. God is so good. He's so good to me. Nashbog, Macfilic, Hosuna Nashbog, Macfilic. Spear, spear, mash, bog, mash, bog, mark, feeling, ocean, jawenda, kasuni, shamin, jawenda, jacket, old, dungeon, ocean, jawenda, how great is our God. See with me how great is our God, and all who see how great, how great is our God. Repeat that to me. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless me. Bless me. The Lord bless me. The Lord bless you. Keep you. Lord bless keep me. Keep me. Keep me. Keep me. Lord, keep me. Lord, make his face shine on you. Lord, bless me. Lord, make his face shine on you. Lord, bless me. And keep me. In the name of Jesus. Lord, bless up his confidence upon me. The Lord, lift up his confidence upon me. And give you peace. And, and, and peace. Peace. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Oh, 
Lord Deus, Portugal, em Brasil, em português, Shalom, Shalom, Ben David, Jesus of Nazareth, Son of David, Elohim, Ahu Kadosh, God, Holy Spirit. Now I shall conclude with the conclusion of the Shofar. And victory every day in the name of Elohim, Akadosh, and Yeshua. Shalom, Yesu Nevana. Shalom. The peace of Elohim, Akadosh, Yeshua, the peace of Israel be upon you today in the name of Yeshua. Amen. Shalom. Amen. Shalom. Shalom. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Shalom. Shalom, everyone. May peace of God be with you. Thank you for joining. We love you. Shalom. Shalom. Amen. Love you. Love you. Love you too. Love you. Love you. Shalom, everyone. See you tomorrow, same time, same place. May peace of God be with you all in Jesus' name. Amen. Shalom.